The United States spent almost $83 billion on Afghanistan's defense sector since 2001. The Afghan army was trained by one of the most powerful military coalitions on earth. But what happened in days leading up to 15th August when Kabul fell to the Taliban has shocked many. As soon as the international forces left, the Afghan army fell like a house of cards. The Afghan military is fighting for a government that many are, are see as corrupt. Um, they're fighting for a government that is not giving them the resources they need to have success on the battlefield. Many of them are not being paid for months, if not longer. Uh, unit commanders are keeping soldiers who aren't actually there. These are called ghost soldiers and collecting their pay. So the motivations for the Afghan military to fight hard and fight to the death for the government are very, very low. On paper, the Afghan army consists of 300,000 men with a basic air force and an armored fleet. Over the years, it has received more than $70 million from NATO in defense supplies. Compare this with the Taliban. According to the US Combating Terrorism Center at West Point, the Taliban have a core strength of 60,000 fighters, but with no high-end weaponry and no air force. So how did they overrun the country so swiftly? This offensive that was organized by the Taliban has been in the works for a decade. The Taliban realized that taking control of rural areas in Afghanistan was key for it for it to be able to take the, the provinces and then take the cities and march on to Kabul. And then once President Biden announced the withdrawal from Afghanistan on April 14th, the Taliban sprung this offensive. Um, and made rapid gains while U.S. commanders, including the chairman and Joint Chiefs of Staff, were denying what was happening. This is an intelligence failure on a massive scale. The Taliban swept into Kabul on 15th August without a fight, bringing a stunning end to a two-decade war in which the U.S. and its allies had promised to transform the country.